Topper? Wig? My real hair? Which one is it? Stay tuned. Hi, it's Barbara. Welcome back to my wig gig. I bought myself another topper, but this time round, instead of being my natural silver gray color, uh, I've been coloring my hair and uh, I had gone to my stylist because generally I would shave my head, but I wanted to do something um, a little different and I've really grown to like toppers um, quite a bit. So uh, I had her start coloring my hair again, the little bit that I have. I, I still am very sparse up on top uh, and we'll get into that in a minute. But uh, I, I wanted to be able to wear a topper because they are really comfortable. There, I feel a lot of freedom with a topper compared to a wig. And that's just because I don't have to struggle with um, a, head, a head grip that I generally have to glue to my head. Um, I, I, I don't have to deal with that. And that's the nice thing. However, the setbacks are I don't have a lot of hair up on top. It is very fine. It is very thin. And so, you know, being able to clip into that is a little bit of a challenge as well. However, I, you know, went forward with this and I decided to get this little beauty. This is Sonata by Raquel Welsh. And the color on this is SS Cappuccino or SS12-22. And this is from her Transformations top pieces. So I really, really like this color. It is a beautiful blend of, uh, you know, your, your 12 uh, base as far as um, a medium brown, it's kind of an ashier brown, and that is what my hair generally had been. I was a dark ash blonde. So when I had my stylist coloring my hair, we decided to go with a dark base because I was planning on doing some highlights and things like that again in it, which I'll be seeing her again soon to have that next stage kind of done. And, uh, in the meantime, I had I had come across this and the color, and I decided to do this. Now, I modified this hair piece because when I got it, and I will show you in a minute because I did buy it a second time, uh, it, it has uh, quite a bit of uh, curl and wave to it, which my hair is stick straight. I'm not really comfortable with curls and waves, although I'm going to do a spin here so you can see that I still left a little bit of wave in the back uh, and on the side, but I, I, I did quite a bit of straightening with this using steam and um, just kind of a round brush to, to give a little bit of shape here. So let me do a spin so you can see this in the round. You can see she blends pretty well in the back. And you can see some of that wave. Again, I did modify this piece. Uh, I shortened up the sides a little bit. I like to have my hair up around my ears, not not shaggy down on my ears. Um, so I, I cut this a little bit because my head is smaller also. And uh, it, it just, what I did with it, I'm really pleased with. It turned out really, really well. Okay, so I'm going to show you what this looks like just coming right out of the box. Again, I bought it a second time so that I would have a backup. And uh, you know, maybe I would stick with the curl this time. I don't know. But we open up this box. It's a, it's a cake style type of box. And she comes like this. Let 
and we take her out and she's got her tag on she's got some tissue to give hold her shape inside that box and of course a hair net uh, on top of her so let's take that off as well uh, they get caught a little bit in some of the clips on the inside so let me take this off so you can see she she has quite a, a curl to her now when you take something like your comb to it you can straighten this out a little bit now if you have curlier hair and you like curl this maybe straight out of the box you're going to be really pleased with it because of that uh like i said me on the other hand i didn't care for the curl so much because i don't have curly hair i never really have when i wore my hair this short i did use a curling iron to put a little bit of curl in it like i have in the back here but uh for the most part and it didn't last all that long and my hair being more straight i'm i'm much more in this is my comfort zone this is not and when i put this against my own hair which is straight here in the back and the sides um it didn't it didn't i didn't care for the look um Somebody else might like that better than me. But uh, you can see she has this really pretty blend of this 12, which, you know, is your is your ash brown, medium ash brown uh, kind of color, medium to light ash brown. And then you've got the light 22 highlights on this, which give pretty much this, this kind of blonde uh, uh, look to her. And... And because of the rooting, it, it blends really well. And that was something I was looking for in a topper. I didn't want something with just one color. And I had looked at um, Renee of Paris. They had one called New Editions, cute hair piece. Um, however, the colors didn't have any kind of blend to them. They didn't have any kind of root uh, situation to them. And, and so, you know, this fit the bill, although, uh, with the curls, but I, I figured, you know, I, I do know enough about steaming and the like that I can probably work with this too, which <laughs> I think it worked out pretty well. So let's look at the inside construction here so you can see what this is about. Now, this does not have a, um, lace front or a mono top it has a, a velvet area up front with this clip up front now i moved this clip back here on this piece because my hairline is way back here and uh where this would sit and and that's the little bit of hair that i have left that i can gently clip into um then it has uh kind of a a, a soft lace here in the ear tab area it's not an ear tab but an ear tab area and it's got a clip there on either side it is then open wefted in the top where we have a little bit of permatease and then we have wefts around the perimeter with that that little bit of um soft lace here in the back as well where the back clip sits um on this piece i did remove the tags because i certainly don't want those ever popping through and uh i i, I think all of this has turned out really well i'm so pleased with this piece and uh, uh again so pleased that i purchased her a second time so that i could enjoy her even longer Raquel Welch makes a lot of nice products. She makes some very beautiful wigs. She seems to make a pretty nice topper as well. Now, earlier in the summer when um, I was still sporting my natural gray color, uh, which is like a 5660, I did purchase um, Lyric in the 
5660. And Lyric is a little bit different. And the reason that I had gone with Lyric was because uh, she happened to be straighter in appearance. And uh, she also had a mono top. She, and I'll pull her out here. I'm just taking off the net so you can see this. So this, this was Lyric. And she has, she's, she's longer and she has a bit of hair here. So if I were to, <coughs> pardon me, if I were to put her on, you know, she would, she would need to be, um, cut to my liking. So I would probably take her to my stylist and say, Hey, help, help blend this in because I'll, I'll go back to my gray. I, I actually got a lot of compliments, um, on instant charm, which I still have and I still like, and I got compliments on my hair being that color. Uh, however, when you are my age, <laughs> you, you kind of really, you want to keep your youth, I guess, as long as possible. Um, you kind of go back to your, your color that you were used to. But I wanted you to show, show you the inside of Lyric, which is a mono filament uh, lace type of top. And then you have that silicone band at the hairline. This does not have a lace front. Uh, like my Instant Charm has a lace front. This one does not. But that's still a nice feature, especially for somebody like me who doesn't have any hair right up here in where my normal hairline would be because it has receded back so far. And then of course, it's very fine hair behind that. Uh, but I wanted you to see that. And then you can see that it doesn't have uh, the number of wefts and does not uh, cup around your head quite as much as Sonata does. So Sonata by Raquel Welch. And the color again is SS12 slash 22 or SS Cappuccino. A real pretty color. Blends really well with my own bio hair, uh, n colored bio hair. But you know, that keep that in mind. You can work with your hairstylist to color your hair. Um, bring in your piece. Show the color that is there. They know color numbers and understand them. And uh, even, you know, we even worked with, uh, uh, you know, these types of colors. I actually brought in a different wig that had uh, this kind of color and rooting to it because that's what I wanted to go with was to start with this uh, rooting color that you see in my bio hair. You can see that glasses work really well. I don't have to even worry about any kind of of um, ear tab because the, literally that piece is up here and that's where that clip is. And, and at least I have side hair that I can clip into and back hair that I can clip into. It's just this front part that you can see I've got this set back pretty far and then I still have that clip set back even further because that's where my hairline is at this time with um, just a little bit left there to work with. So anyway, who knew that, you know, a topper could look so well, so real. You can work with her. Uh, again, I straightened her out by using steam and, and, a, and a roll brush so that I could get the shape that I was looking for. Um, I did a little bit of, of uh, cutting just so that I could um, make shape those sides the way I wanted them to, because they were longer when I got them. So I, I want you to keep that in mind. If you're looking at this piece, uh, there are other colors that are available, and uh, you know you can you can certainly explore that and see if it works for you. Uh, check out you know any of the wet wig websites out there. They have this on their website. Um, Take advantage of any discounts or sales that they may have going and uh, go to town with it. I'd like to thank you for watching this video on Sonata by Raquel Welch in the color SS1222 
SS Cappuccino. She's really a cute topper. If you want a nice topper for short hair rather than for longer hair, I highly recommend this one. Remember to like and subscribe and ring the notification bell for more reviews that I'll be sending your way. Until the next time, I hope that you have a bright and sunny day. Thanks again for watching.